Classes were put on hold Friday morning as hundreds of students lined up inside Bayside and held hands to form a chain symbolizing strength and unity against a fight to end violence against women. Over a thousand pupils were involved, including some from Westside Comprehensive and the College of Further Education. This started uh, last week, in fact, uh, when the idea uh, was mooted that we, this was happening. So we started working, obviously there's a team behind this, and uh, we've been working towards this today. And, you know, it's been gathering momentum ever since we heard of this, and uh, the boys have risen to the occasion. I mean, it's a fantastic day today. I think we're showing the school in its best possible light. And the boys have responded tremendously well with lots of maturity, and I think they understand the message, which is the most important thing, obviously. This is a universal message that we're sending out. It's not just a Bayside thing. You know, this is a social problem that we, we have, and it needs to be tackled. At least the boys need to be aware of, of the issue. And in a boys' school like ours, it's, I think it's most relevant to, to make sure that our boys are aware of the problem and, uh, and, and understand the problem. The issue is one which has also been incorporated into weekly classes with the aim of making students aware that these problems exist both on a local and global scale. During our PSHE lessons uh, this week and last week, we focused on, on this issue. We've, uh, we've uh, used local press articles, uh, you know, videos, um, because it is, like I say, a global problem, and uh, we focused on it from a, from a global point of view, not just uh, locally. But uh, the boys have uh, engaged in a very meaningful discussion, and I think after today they'll, they'll go home and they, they'll be aware that uh, this is a problem and uh, it's something, you know, violence against women, gender violence, is. Uh, something that needs to be eradicated yet. Minister Samantha Sacramento and John Cortez were both in attendance for the morning's proceedings and addressed a large audience moments later as the winners of a poetry competition were announced. The competition had been set up in conjunction with the awareness campaign and helped emphasize the seriousness of the topic to the students. Certainly a positive message indeed at Bayside School.